This is Christopher Ong. Welcome to Beautiful Living. Hey, Happy New Year. Come on in. Happy New Year. Hi. Mm -hmm. Of course, I have my mouth full. Oh. So, lots of good food to eat. Come on in. Exactly. Here you go. Thank you. Hey, Ken, could you tell us how do you prepare this for your guests tonight? It's really very easy. You buy a loin of pork. It's already tied for you but from the butcher. You score the, the fat side of it. You uh -huh. want to bake it with the fat side up. You tuck garlic into each of those cuts once you've scored the surface. You then put a layer of herbs. Could you show picks. us how to wrap it? Absolutely. Sure. Okay, we take a little of each of the herbs, a little of the sage, a little of the tarragon. Just lay it on here. And what else do we have? We have a little oregano and a little thyme. And so you just layer it all on. Well, I can imagine it must be so aromatic. It's very aromatic and in the end your herbs just get thrown away. They're just for ah, the cooking process. You don't right. eat this part. The bacon comes out very crispy and you just lay it on top like this. Okay. Slightly Overlapping. Overlapping. So all the juice coming out from bacon. From the bacon keeps up. it very moist and it's pretty much a no-fail recipe. So I think it's one of the easiest things that you can make and yet it looks like you spent all day in the kitchen. Mm. And I would say maybe there's a half hour of preparation. Put a little more herbs in. And we're finished. Uh, we've he preheated the oven to 425. And Christopher, if you'll help me. Great. Shit. Thank you. So right now, Ken is going to prepare pear. It's called a poached pear. And tonight we're going to have it as part of the salad. I will. Um, put it into the poaching liquid and then I will serve it once it's cooled a little bit. We'll cut it in half and I'm going to serve it with a green salad with some fresh blackberries and a little blue cheese and we'll do it in a blood orange vinaigrette. Would you like to put it into the poaching liquid? Oh yeah. All right now if you gently put it into the poaching liquid and turn it a little bit. And oh in my about God, it smells so delicious. And in about 20 or 30 minutes, we will have a poached pear. Let's see if it's done. Put the fork in, and when it comes out, just like a potato, it's oh, done. All right, so it's done. I'm really thinking simple, silver and glass, and maybe a little bit of white to suggest the snow, um, candles, things that are frosted, um, things that are mirrored, just very wintry and serene, and I just think it, it's going to make a really beautiful table. Could you tell us a little bit about the elements that you use? It is a combination of old and new. I think it's a very modern way of living. People have inherited things, you buy new things, things break and you fill in. But it's not all just about old and, and new, it's about price point. And I think in this economy it's very important to talk about that you don't have to spend a lot of money. Now some of these pieces are quite valuable, others of them are not. Uh, for example, 
the knives that are pre-Civil War, quite valuable with the pearl handle and the sterling mounts. To the opposite end of the spectrum, these finials uh, I bought at a dollar store. And when I went to the counter, the young woman who waited on me said, Sir, do you know what those are for? And I said, yes. And she said, how many Christmas trees do you have? Uh, so I thought it was very funny. She didn't consider that it could have been used for something else like we're doing tonight. But they were a dollar. So things can be very reasonable. The dinner plates were from Crate and Barrel. The chargers are from Pier One. Um, the glass bowls are actually something I've had for a long time, but they were also rather inexpensive. Uh, the silver terrine yeah, it has some value. The crystal is valuable. Uh, so it's just, it's, it's a whole just range of things. So basically, you can see that uh, just putting your creativity into it and, you know, comprise of new and old things. And I think that's much more interesting. And from my understanding, some of these pieces, you, you have it from your parents or from your grandparents. Parents and grandparents. And I liked that because I think in Beautiful Living that I always encourage people to buy something good that they can pass it down to the next generation. And this is just what... Well, very finally, and, and to that point, um, the glass candlesticks in the center, my grandmother bought for my mother's sweet 16. Oh, wow. So I now use them on my table, so I think it, that this fits that very, perfectly. This is very meaningful, and especially sharing this with a close one, with a loved one during the holiday season. I think this is just beautiful. Thank you. Well, so now after all the hard work in the kitchens and um, all the hard work setting up the table, it's always nice to have a cup of tea before yes, the guests arrive. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next time for more beautiful living. Bye.